Hi everybody, Angelo, Angelo's Workbench. Got a uh, weekend update for you guys. Working on two kits at once here. The um, the Corvette Gasser is coming along. I've got the chassis here, um, which has uh, is progressing fairly nicely. Um, relatively uh, basic. I'm not going all out. It's just uh, mostly just an experiment to uh, to try out templates on the uh, on the paint job. And I've done that. Got some. Uh, there's some purple skulls. There's some silver flames. It's it's just an experimentation. I don't know if I'm in love with it or not, but uh, but but it is what it is, and I'm gonna keep on rolling forward. The um, side of the body, I've got some templating. This was a uh, my 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 plan with this car was uh, being a gasser from the from the 50s and 60s that it was you know basically stripped down and and turned into a racer the clear coat is a little bumpy i gotta polish that out obviously quite a bit but you'll see there's some there's some purple uh skulls in there and some gray flames and i i kind of wanted it to look like something somebody had done in their yard it kind of sort of um just to go to the racetrack and and race with and uh and just to give you guys a a quick peek at how the uh, stance is gonna go. It's gonna look something along those lines like that. The front end jacked up. I love the look of those. Uh, so that's uh, that's kind of where we're going with that. And then the other thing I want to show you guys is the um, the Merc. I'm doing a Merc. Uh, isn't everybody doing a Merc? Uh, I'm a Mercaholic. Um, the name of this color is um, courtesy of the spoiled by wet and wild nail color here it is is uh mind your own beeswax so here it is the mind your own beeswax i i shot it on a spoon with white primer and it was just a little too yellow i wanted something a little more mustardy and um over gray primer i have mustardy so uh come out pretty good needs another coat i'm gonna need to get another bottle of that stuff but um, I opted for these skirts. I think they're the coolest skirts in the kit. And then I opted for the French tail lights. And uh, so that's going to take another coat of Mind Your Own Beeswax. Here's the hood. I opted for the non-louvered hood. Um, the uh, another coat of Mind Your Own Beeswax uh, will get applied, and then some clear coat, and then uh, I can start focusing on all of the little doodads, get the chassis going. Um, so that's about it. More to come soon. Thanks again for, uh, for tuning in, and uh, see you guys later.